I was discussing an alternative myth to the ceramic and fully automatic models of the universe. Our rather dramatic myth. The idea that life as we experience it's a big act. The Atman is you. you are playing hide and seek since that is the essential game that's going on the game of games is the basis of all games and so since you're playing hide and seek you are deliberately although you can't admit this or won't admit it you are deliberately forgetting who you really are or what you really are Your essential self is the foundation of the universe, the ground of being, as Tillich calls it. You see, the problem is this. We identify in our experience a differentiation between what we do and what happens to us. We have a certain number of actions that we define as voluntary. We feel in control of those. And then over against that, there is uh, all those things that are involuntary. But the dividing line between these two is very arbitrary. When you uh, move your hand, you feel that you decide whether to open it or to close it. Then ask yourself, how do you decide? When you decide to open your hand, do you first decide to decide? You don't, do you? You just decide, and how do you do that? And so we come to have a very arbitrary definition of self. find out that you are all of yourself. Because your physical organism is one continuous process with everything else that's going on. Just as the waves are continuous with the ocean, your body is continuous with the total energy system of the cosmos.